Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing a daily tarot reading for Friday the 12th of November. I hope you're doing well and you've had a good week so far. Those are general readings, they will not apply to all of you, so take what resonates and just discard what does not. So let's see what energies we have for this Friday. energy is the sacral chakra so it's the second chakra it's the center of creativity and the center of um, all types of pleasures and now I'm going to take a second energy randomly let's see what cards do I want this one Okay, so this is Foundation and Achievements. Card number four, which is the number of stability, strong foundations, so very fitted. Alright, let's have a look at this in more depth with the tarot. This is you at the center, Seven of Swords, crossing you, Nine of Swords, below you, Seven of Wands, that's two Sevens, above you, Four of Pentacles or Coins, let's see if this fits better, yep. behind you, Five of Pentacles, Ahead of you, Ten of Swords. Advice, Seven of Pentacles. That's the third number seven of your reading. Environment, Knight of Swords. Hopes and Fears, The Hermit. Final Outcome, Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Judgment. Okay. So at the middle, in the middle of this reading, not at, sorry about that, you get the um, Seven of Swords. Now, Seven is the number of experience. It's about evaluating, assessing. Um, swords is to do with thoughts, communication, truths, um, everything to do with the intellect. And the Seven of Swords, I mean, there are many interpretations. I mean, some people say it's the thief, uh, it's people doing things behind your back. Um, but I come from the Tarot de Marseille school of reading, so although I'm very familiar, obviously, with the right of its meanings, um, I um, also apply Tarot de Marseille's original meanings, which are more based on numerology. And so for me, the Seven of Swords is having a clear focus and doing whatever it takes to get the job done. And you can see this even in the Rider Waite's deck. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means cutting his fingers, because he's actually carrying those swords unsheathed. So this is at the center, and this is crossed by the Nine of Swords, and Nine is the number of achievement. You know, you're one away from the Ten, which is completion, and this is having lots of worry and being anxious, overwhelming thoughts and it's the card of courage, you know, like controlling those thoughts 
and, and basically winning over the, those thoughts. And so this is at the center of your um, reading. And this is here because in the near past, you've had the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five is a number of change and challenges. Now, all changes are not um, necessarily bad things, uh, but we are human beings, and generally speaking, um, you know, we don't really like changes. And Pentacles, or coins, is to do with your physical world. So it could be home life, work life, job, career, financial assets, that kind of thing, money. And so you've you've undergone some changes in your physical world. Now it could mean uh, losing a job. It could mean um, you know tensions at home as well. Um, it you know it's a card of you know it's a challenging energy basically in in your physical reality. Um, it could also be you. Um, having limiting thoughts um, because of what's happened and so you're feeling a bit hard done by that that could be that but in the middle as I said you decide you've you know you know that you need to be focused to get the job done basically and you're fighting those um, worries and thoughts that are in your head on the subconscious level your defenses are up you you know you know that you're gonna to have to persevere it's number seven again assessment evaluation and one is to do with passion it's fire energy you know what ignites you and so subconsciously you're fighting which, which is very good because you know it's important to have this kind of mentality if you want to advance in life um, and get out of this um, five of pentacles so your subconscious mind is, you know, putting up the defenses and, and, and fighting back. Because in your goals, you have a four, which is the four of pentacles. And if you look at the oracle card that I pulled for you, it's about foundations and achievement. And the four of pentacles is about starting to see the beginning of um, a stable financial state. Um, you see, he's a merchant. Uh, and he's acquired these four coins because three is growth and four is stability. You started to see the fruit of your labor, basically. And this is what you're aiming for. You're aiming for this level of stability. And subconsciously, you're fighting for it. Um, because you know that it's going to be, you know, you have to be focused and, you know, you have worries due to the past, which is fully understandable. But in the near future, you have the Ten of Swords. Now, Ten is the number of completion. So, it's going to be the end of those thoughts that you've been having. You know, this is going from a Nine to a Ten. So, it's going to leave you exhausted, but it's the end of it. No more Swords. So, the future in that respect is looking bright. And the advice from the cards is another Number Seven which as I said is your third one, which is assess the situation, you know, um, you've put efforts into something and are you seeing the rewards for it? Um, obviously it comes with a bit of patience as well, but yes, you're being asked to have a look at something specific, whether it's a job, a career or a situation at home and, you know, look at what happened and see whether you know you got the fruits for it the rewards the compensation if we're talking about work because in your environment you've got the knight of swords now the knights are um action takers you know they bring about change things move with them and the knight of swords is a swift energy um he's he, sometimes he can be a bit reckless but it's an energy that goes very fast he's very determined um, sorts to do with thoughts, intellect, as I said, so it could be, and it's also truth and communication, it could be some news coming your way, some offer coming your way, it's going to rush in. And that's in your environment. And in your hopes and fears, you have the Hermit. Now this is a major arcana, so a major energy, um, you know, energies that make you grow on your life path. And the Hermit is all about looking inwards to find the answers that you need. Um, this is in the um, hopes and fears, um, and I think that you are desperately looking for an answer, which 
you will get because in the underlying energies that we have we have judgment at the bottom of the deck which is another major arcana now this is a fantastic card because it's telling you that you are going to get your answers this is a transformation card you know it's an awakening card um, you can read it as uh, shedding the old and awakening all brand new rebirth um, it's a wake-up call and you will get that answer that you know the answer you're looking for which way do I go what do I do am I doing the right thing um, both of these cards in the advice you get the seven of pentacles in your hopes you have the hermit talk about assessing uh, reflecting on situations you know and thinking you know is this the right way for me to go about things and the cards are telling you that this is going to be the end of your trouble in the near future and you do have the card of foundation and achievement it's a very positive card and your outcome is a number four which echoes the, the oracle card so the fourth cups is to do with um, feelings and emotions and this is to do with emotional stability sometimes in the Rider Waite Smith uh, meanings you could see it as a cup being offered to you um, but the the person is not looking at it and so you're being told basically to look within with the hermit and find out what it is that's going to bring you this emotional stability because there is foundation and achievement in in the cards telling you that you just need to move away from this challenging energy that you experienced in the past and stop worrying so much and you see the other thing that's coming to me is in the center you have you know being focused determined to do whatever it takes to make it work but the sacral chakra came up and the sacral chakra card came up because your sacral chakra is blocked um, and this is to do with pleasure allowing yourself to experience pleasant things you know, you're so determined at the moment to make whatever it is work and you're worried and this is just everywhere in your head, even in your subconscious mind, you know, you're putting up your defenses and the cards are telling you, you know, God, the universe, your spirit team, they're telling you, you know, you need to experience a little bit of pleasure, you know, because it will make you also more in touch with your creativity. There are a lot of... Um, a meditation on YouTube, you know, that you can look up if you put sacral chakra meditation, you know, with music that you can just listen to before you go to bed that could help you unblock it. You could also do some yoga, same thing, you'll find it on YouTube. There's loads of practices um, to help work with your sacral chakra and be in touch um, with your body and, you know, everyday little pleasures in life. Um, when I say experience pleasant things, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It could be a wonderful cup of coffee or a pumpkin spice latte if you're into that kind of thing. I am hooked on pumpkin spice latte, but that's just me. That cup of coffee just brings a smile to my face. You know, it's allowing you those little pleasures. Um, and try to be in the moment as well when you're actually drinking the coffee, for that example, instead of always being in your head. Because, as I said, you are going to get transformation you know take the time do a meditation on the sacral chakra go within you know to find to find the answer and you will get that achievement and and this emotional stability you know you will get your answer and um, prepare to be amazed basically because judgment is working in the background and so you're going to experience um, a, a transformation it's all about, you know, keeping things on a positive note, even when it's challenging. I'm not saying it's easy. And allowing yourself little pleasures in life. Um, because it will help you with your manifestation. So, I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. Um, if this resonated or even helped you in any kind of way, please let me know in the comments box below. I'd love to interact with you. Um, I also do monthly readings and mid-month readings. The mid-months are about to come out at the end of this week, so feel free to check them out. Um, and I hope you have a fantastic day. 
and thank you so much for spending some time with me, I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.